welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is Taylor this is my new puppy Enzo if you missed my last video hey Kish I took a week off from filming um, I obviously got a new puppy unexpectedly I'm obsessed with her if you missed my last video go check it out I was also in the middle of moving so I just moved into my new place this is my kitchen I'm not gonna do a house tour quite yet because I'm still needing to decorate if you guys have any like decoration inspiration ideas I love my space but like the color scheme isn't necessarily me so that's why I'm having like, a hard time finding how I want to decorate it um, but I love the space I have a little filming room and I'm so excited I just have to figure out my lighting in there because I was gonna do a sit down video but the lighting in there is like a little yellow so that'll be next time um, today's video is kind of an update on my nutrition health fitness losing weight journey a couple months ago i hired an online nutritionist through working against gravity i heard about the company through a couple other youtubers and i saw their transformations and i was really inspired so i didn't necessarily have a problem with like junk food or anything like that i had really healthy eating habits like i filmed other videos on like what i eat in a day and my favorite trader joe's snacks and all that stuff and all that stuff is really healthy however i wasn't really in tune with like how much or how little of certain macronutrients I was eating. For instance, I was eating super clean, but I wasn't getting enough protein, and I was eating super clean, but I was eating a lot of healthy fats. So like almond butter, a lot of like the snacks that I love are high in fat, they're healthy fat, but they're high in fat. My macros were all over the place. I had no idea how to figure out the type of macros that I need. I was kind of just like clueless in that aspect. I just wasn't eating like the correct macronutrients for my body and for my personal goals. I will preface this by saying I literally always talk shit about people who count macros. I always said I never want to be that person that counts macros. Catch me a few months later and I am that person and I really, really, really enjoy it and it's completely transformed me um, and I'm only a couple months in. I wanted to show you some of the things that I eat and how my nutrition coaching works. For starters, I was never one to weigh myself. Couldn't tell you my measurements. I could tell you my size and jeans, but couldn't tell you my measurements. I literally didn't even own a scale. The way counting macros works is, you know, there's there's two ways to go about it. I had really healthy eating habits as it was, so I wasn't necessarily changing anything I eat. But like if I wanted to go to in and out I can fit that in my macros. It's not necessarily like a starvation diet. Like I'm not starving. I was actually, in the beginning, it was quite the opposite. When she first gave me my macros, I was like, oh my god this is so much food i like how does anybody eat this much this is insane she's off her rocker like are you sure you know my goals when I first started i was definitely overwhelmed with the macros i was overwhelmed with counting macros i was overwhelmed with it all so you log everything on your phone using my fitness pal and you can look things up i have a food scale and i weigh everything i eat i personally like to just log everything i know i'm going to eat during the day in the morning my meal preps from eat naked have totally come in handy i'm still Still doing them um, I'm still using them I honestly can't live without them especially with how much protein I have to consume I wouldn't be able to do it without my eat naked it makes it so simple because I know exactly what the macros are for each meal I have them all inputted into my fitness pal so for instance this is one of my meals this has sweet potato for carbs um, chicken protein obviously and then vegetable as this is also a, uh, also a carb. So those are my go-to for lunch and dinner. Uh, that's two meals that I don't even have to think about. So I always input those no matter what, and then from there I kind of just like fill in the rest of my day. Really into like these squeeze pouch type of things. These are the Mama Chia. This is helpful for carbs. I have to eat a lot of carbs, fruits, and like sweet potatoes, those come in handy. Again, like if I ate bread and crackers, I could totally eat that to fill in my macros, but I don't eat bread or crackers or anything processed. This was a new one that I got from Thrive Market. Azili Organic, this is a plant-based fruit gel. So again, it's just like kind of like a squeeze fruit situation. I just got this today from Sprouts. So this is actually a protein and carb for me. So this is a plant-based protein superfood smoothie. So there's only five grams of protein, but it's helpful. And there's 17 grams of carbs, which 
I mean, used to sound like a lot, but I have to eat a lot of carbs per day. This is a really good protein shake. So I really like to have this if I need something on the go or if I need extra, extra protein. Like I said, I have to eat a lot of protein per day. This is by Koya. I really like these, although they do have a little bit of cane sugar in it. The ingredient is near the end. Bummer that it has a little bit of cane sugar in it, but the total sugar in here is only four grams. On the weekends, I don't have my eat naked meals. I try to just like stick to very simple cooking. So eggs are like my go-to. Egg whites are so easy. Easy, super simple way to get protein. I also like to eat turkey meat, so this is 99% lean turkey meat, so not much flavor. You definitely have to season it up a little bit. I have like fajita seasoning. This with like eggs or sweet potato. I'm also into riced cauliflower, so this is by CC's Veggie Co. And this is riced cauliflower. Super simple to make. I'm actually gonna make this tonight. I'm gonna make like a little rice cauliflower bowl with um, turkey meat and some sweet potato and eggs. So it sounds like a lot of food, but I need to meet my macros. And of course, like just having vegetables on hand, like carrots, snap peas, broccoli, all of that is super helpful. But the catch is, is like I have to weigh everything out first. If you're like a snacker, which is what I used to be, I can't really just like open the fridge and have a couple carrots. Like I have to weigh everything. And so now to the snacks. This is just dried mango, unsweetened. Um, easy way to get carbs. Epic performance bars are very similar to an RX bar. The only ingredients are dates, egg whites, almonds, chocolate, sea salt, and vanilla. So I always have one of these usually like in the morning or just like in my bag when I'm driving to work or driving home from work. Veggie goes by Wild Made and these are strawberry, chia seed, and beet. And they're like little bites. They almost look like dog treats. It's weird and it sounds like a weird combination, but it's really good. Fruit strips, which this one is berry, apple, and spinach. My favorite is the apple and sweet potato one and it sounds so, so weird, but it's honestly so good um, again just easy simple way to get carbs and easy for on the go these are jalapeno turkey sticks from thrive market and they have jalapenos inside and they're so good there's very little fat in those so it's a very simple way for me to get protein I also love the garden of life um, performance protein bars they're vegan and gluten-free and they're made without dairy or soy ingredients so these are really really good I love these I also love Lara bars these are just a really good way to get carbs they are a little high in fat like they have 12 grams of fat which is a lot one snack of your day but really good and super good if you want something sweet I also love about my nutrition is that I can still have like my press juicery my press juicery freeze like all my favorite things like I literally haven't eliminated anything I've just restructured it for how I need to meet my macros in a day honestly having a nutritionist has like changed my life changed my perspective on food weighing myself numbers scales like all of that it's kind of taken away like the scary factor of it all and like the I don't want to know my my weight anymore my mental psyche around all of this has improved and again like I haven't eliminated any of my favorite food overall in the past couple months I've lost about 11 pounds which doesn't sound like a lot when you look at like the time frame but the changes in my body are very noticeable obviously like you can work out as much as you want but if your diet's not there then you're not gonna see like long-term success not even a diet like I'm not on a diet like I'm eating I literally I have like I said I haven't eliminated anything so it's not a diet it's just like a different way of eating and understanding food and how food works for you to meet your goals if you're looking for long-term success bad diets aren't gonna work um, yo-yo dieting obviously isn't gonna work like skinny teas aren't even a, a thing like stop buying skinny teas all the contouring things like that's like all short term that's it for my update on my nutritionist I really 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 recommend it um, it's totally changed the way I think about food the way I think about my body and everything I'm really happy with the changes I've seen so far and I'm excited to keep going I want a video on how I weigh my food how I actually like plan my day eating I'm happy to do that Happy to answer any questions. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update because I know in my life updates video a couple months ago, I said that I was moving soon and I hired a nutritionist. So I've moved and I've had a nutritionist now for a couple of months. Stay tuned for a house tour. It'll come. Send me inspo ideas. Um, if you have any questions about nutrition and having a nutritionist, food, fitness, whatever, leave a comment below. And that's about it. Happy to be back. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos.